Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's current feelings for the third party? What are your person's current feelings for the third party? Now, this reading is only going to be for, for those of you Libra who know or suspect that your person is involved with somebody else, that, that they have a third party. If you know that they don't have a third party, then this reading is not for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the third party? All right, Libra, first card we have here is the Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups in Reverse, the Tower, Knight of Cups, Hierophant in Reverse, Two of Wands, and at the bottom we have the King of Wands in Reverse. Okay, let me just take a look. Hmm. So for some of you, um, there's children involved here. Yeah, there's children. Either the third party has a child or you have a child with this person. I do see that there was a drastic ending here between you, your person and the third party because of a third party situation because we have the three of pentacles. So either you finding out that they have a third party created an ending or the third party finding out that your person was with you created an ending. I feel like your person is seeking for forgiveness, seeking to make things right and to apologize. I don't know if it's to you or to the third party. I'm, I, I, I mean, we do have the two of wands, so it could be to both, okay? The two of wands can mean that, you know, your person wants to apologize to both of you. Or it can also mean that um, your person is indecisive in regards to who they want to who they want to make things right with. They can either make things right with you or with the third party. Hmm. All right, let's clarify and let's, let's look into that. I'm going to start by taking a look at... Actually, let's, let's get to the point. Let's look at that two of wands. Let's just go straight to the point. Clarify the two of wands, please, Spirit. Temperance and Queen of Wands upright. So your person doesn't really know. Because the temperance means that um, more time is needed. There's a lack of clarity. Okay, so you're, I guess that means your person is really, you know, divided. Right now your person doesn't know if they're inclining more towards you or towards the third party. They're like, they're right in the middle basically 
I think if it were up to them, they um, your person would just make things right with both sides, you know, apologize to both sides and, you know, have a relationship with both sides. It's It's what it's looking like here. What is this Knight of Cups about, Spirit? <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles. What else? And the Eight of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so your person basically has to make a decision here if they want to let go of of something that they've been a part of for for a long time or that they've been committed to for a long time. Queen of Pentacles would represent that commitment. So it's like they're they're they feel like they're in a tough spot because they've they've committed themselves to something and I feel like now they're feeling like maybe they jumped the gun they they were too impulsive they or they made they made that decision too quickly to commit to someone or simply or simply it's it's just that they're <clears throat> they're second guessing themselves in regards to if if they really want a long term relationship with this person or not i don't know again i don't know who this person is i don't know if this person is you or the third party cuz because the third, the first card is the three of pentacles. Uh, it's like it mix, it, it's mixing both of your energies here. Your energy and the third party energy, third party's energy is very much intertwined here. It's hard to decipher who is who because I think your person is not is not deciphering both of you. They're, they're, your person is looking at both of you in the same way. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, Spirit. We have the World card in reverse. And we have the Magician. <laughs> Libra, I really feel like your person just wants to keep both of you, honestly. Mm -hmm. The Magician and the World Universe. I feel like your person is trying to be clever. They're trying to be clever. They're trying to be smart. They're trying to find a way to, to manifest both relationships. Yeah, yeah. I have to be honest. That's what I see. Might be dealing with a little bit of a player here, or like a romantic also, because we have the Knight of Cups, which is a a romantic person. But you know, those type of people that they're in it for the romance more than anything else. They're not really in it for the for the commitment which is the hierophant they're in it for the romance okay tell me about the page of cups in reverse spirit uh like i said page uh page of cups can represent a child can can represent a baby so um for some of you a child is mixed in here some in some way but let's see tell me more about the page of cups the high priestess in reverse and the death card yeah so yeah the death card yeah that means basically your person is um you know your person's obsessed because the page of cups in reverse can also represent obsession I think your person is obsessed here with um like with maintaining both relationships basically. That's what I feel like your person is obsessed with. They're obsessed with maintaining both relationships. Mm -hmm. And not letting go of anything or anyone. 
Okay. Or, um, yeah, this can just mean they're obsessed with the... I feel I do feel like there is one person though that they're obsessed with a little bit more than the other person. I just don't know if that's you or the third party. But I do feel like they're obsessed with one of you a little bit more. However, they still want to keep both no matter what. All right, tell me about the tower card please. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse. I do feel like somebody turned their back on this person. And that's it. The tower mean the tower can mean a shock feeling shocked so i feel like it could even be like ghosted somebody ghosted this person disappeared on this person um turned their back to this person so i feel like there's no contact here between your person and the third party of course this could also be you who maybe you're the one who shocked this person by um by disappearing on them or by shutting the door on them turning your back to them okay let's move on let's take a look at um how does your person feel about you libra okay let's take a look at their current feelings for libra Okay, first card is the devil. The king of cups in reverse. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Knight of cups in reverse. Ten of pentacles upright and the fool upright. At the bottom, six of swords. Okay, um, we do have the devil here, so it is a bit of a toxic energy, or is a it, it can't, the devil to me is inconsistencies and unreliability. I don't know about this person, Libra. I feel like this person wants a new beginning here but i feel like they're moving away from you libra i feel like your your person is more focused on the third party again i feel like with the devil card this can rep represent someone who's possessive so this person might be possessive over you like they want to um they want to still keep you around or still have you with them in a coming from a possessive type of place i'm not i don't see this the the feelings though i don't feel like this person has genuine feelings here with the knight of cups in reverse libra okay i feel like it's more them trying to be possessive over you but i feel like they're they're more focused on the third party. I don't see this person offering commitment here with Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Or like their intentions don't feel very serious or genuine. 
especially with the king of cups in reverse i feel like this person is burying their emotions burying their feelings i also feel like this person might be angry or bitter resent resentful in some way there's there's some sort of grudge i think that this person is carrying that they're not be, being honest about the fool is kind of an energy of i don't really care you know so i feel like they're in, they have they're embodying a little bit of an I don't care attitude or like any it, it is what it is type of attitude <clears throat> I don't feel like this person is being very mature here um and I don't feel like they're really treating you in a in a in a good way I feel like they're just trying to be possessive with you and they're trying to retain you like if you were a possession okay but I don't feel like this person is taking you seriously. I feel like they're more they're more focused on the third party. They're waiting on the third party, I think. Because I think things with the tower card, things fell apart. But I feel like your person is still waiting for them. You know, they're, they're still waiting to see what happens. Okay. All right, that was the reading, um, Libra. So I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it provided some form of clarity and guidance. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.